Today, we're going to talk a little bit about doing some groundwork. We picked out a horse that we're going to start and do some things with. So now it comes time to start doing some groundwork, get that horse to key on you and hook up with you. You can do this with a young horse, you can do it with an older horse that's already broke. But I think it's really important that you learn to hook up with your horse and get them watching you. So some of the things we're going to do today is we're going to move this horse around we're going to try to get them to step off the fence to us, to give us their ear, give us their eye, just give us their attention. And then we're going to build on that. When they do something right, we're going to reward them by backing off and releasing that pressure. If they're not responding, we're going to put pressure on them. And that pressure is just where we put your body in position with the horse and get them to move. So, let's turn this little horse loose. Move him a little bit. Sorry. So I'm going to move him off. Let him get out there. I want to get out on the fence and find him. I just want to leave him alone and let him move a little bit. Ideally, when I stop the horse, I want them to stop and come out to me. I don't want them to turn into the fence and look away. So every time they do that, I'll pressure them, make them move some more until they start stepping off to me and coming to me instead of turning away from me. So you're moving them around. Then you can have to stop at a different point is the shoulder. In front of the shoulder, I shut them down. Behind the shoulder, I move them. So I say, okay. When you looked at me, I'm going to back off. starting to watch me when I step out in front it steps away from the fence that's what I want I'll go up and I'll hook up with him and rub on him and let him relax I don't just drive him all the time I want him to feel comfortable with me but I want to be able to move him toward me and away from me without doing a whole lot of extra work I want him to hook up with me so 
trying to teach them to get halter broke, this works really good. Now look, this coat's been messed with a little bit. It may make, take you 15, 20 minutes your first time to get them where they're just stopping and coming off the fence. That's fine. If you can get them to stop and come off that fence to you, they don't have to follow you around, but they got a key on you and they got to hook up with you. You've got to get their attention so you start asking them other things. And then we take it a little further. We go to them and kind of as I go to that hip, he knows to follow me around. I step out here, that stops. If I start going to that hip, wait for me, wait for me. Now it's up to the okay, okay. okay, so he left. It's okay. Come on. Okay. working his lips, he's chewing on that stick he got earlier. That's fine, he's relaxed, he's understanding. Now I'm gonna go to that hip again. So, typical deal, that right side, he's a little more watching you. I wanna be able to walk to that hip, and I don't want him to move till I ask for it. So what the jogging does, Pretty soon they realize the most comfortable place to be is right by me, waiting for me to tell them to do something. Okay? That's it. I'm going to go ahead and hook up. I don't pat them, I always give them a stroke. I want to get onto that side that they don't like as much. Same deal. To do to one side, to do to the other. So when you go to their face, don't rush it. Let them let you touch it. Don't go up and smack them on the head. Don't push that. Let them find it. up, he's relaxed, he's following me around, he's watching me, that's good. I'm going to put the halter on him, now when you go to put the halter on, if they take off, run a few more laps. I want to tell you, the first few times you do this, you're going to get tired running laps with the coat. But they'll catch on, and they'll figure it out. So you say, well that's a neat dog and pony show, but what's that for? I want my horses to key on me. I want them to be watching me when I ask them things. Things we're going to talk about in this groundwork, we will carry into the saddle. The principle's the same. We want them to key on us. We want them to be attentive to us. We want them to bend and be supple. So the next section we're going to talk about is now that we've got them watching us, they're hooked up with us, we're going to do some groundwork with the halter on. 